Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to acknowledge the elephante in the room. I'm going to acknowledge the elephante in the room. High thoughts. I don't smoke. I don't drink. First question. What language do deaf people think in? Hmm. Second. Why do why are dudes always talking how big they are on loyalty? I'm loyal to the soil. I'm a thoroughbred. I don't rock with this. I don't rock with that. But they cheat on that girl. Mm. You're not that loyal, dog. I'm loyal. Street dudes always saying, yeah, I'm a thoroughbred. You never switch on a team. You never switch on the cold. I'm loyal. I'm this. You always cheat on your girl. I don't know about that, sir. Let's acknowledge the elephante in the room. It's a lot of hypocritical behavior going on around here, dog. Come on. Let's acknowledge the elephante in the room. A lot of dudes saying that no new friends, no new friends, no new, new. New friends is the real way to get to the money. Your old friends know your past behaviors. They know how serious to take you or not to take you. They've seen you fail many, many times. They've seen you tell people that you was going to do one thing and then you end up doing another. They don't believe you. That's why you have to have new friends in order to elevate. I'm sorry to tell you. You have to show them your new self and start off with a clean sheet. Just like when you cheat on your girl and then you go back to her and you say you're not going to cheat. She never really trusts you again because you already messed it up the first time. She's never going to be able to forget it. She might forgive you, but she won't forget. She'll remind you constantly, constantly over time. So it would be very, very hard to progress unless you both have very, very strong psyches and next play syndrome. The best hoopers have that ability. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's acknowledge the elephante in the room. <laughs> we got to start acknowledging these elephantes in the room. My, 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 my guys, my fellas who go going bald in the front. My fellas who go going bald in the front. That, that Beijing spray, it's not going to do it, fam. It's not going to do it. It's purple, bro. Everybody but you see it because you're so happy because you got hair right there right now, but it's not really hair. It's purple, bro. Everybody see it but you. I'm sorry to tell you. Let's acknowledge the elephante in the room. Y'all do two beers can't connect. I'm sorry to tell y'all, dog. Right here is purple, man. We all see it. Everybody see it but you. Let's acknowledge the elephante in the room, man. I don't want to be the bearer of bad, bad news, man. I don't want to be the I don't want to be the one to tell y'all about these Beijing sprays. But um, if you're not just doing a little hint of it, are you using the hair fibers and it's actually going along with your actual hair? Purple, my guy. Just let just cut that joint off, ball. Cut your hair off, ball. Just rock the baldy. Be the be the baldy beard bull. Most people who go bald, they can grow a beard. It's very rare that you see somebody go bald that also can't grow a beard. It's, it's, it's just like the hair actually subtracts out of your head and goes down to your face. Let's just let's acknowledge the elephante in the room. All right, we got to stop being so hypocritical. We ain't gonna be able to grow if we don't stop. Let's just be real. Ladies, I'm sorry to tell y'all, I don't want to be this person, but I got to tell y'all because if I wasn't me, if I, if I don't do the no fluff, then I'm not myself. Ladies, these filters, they don't look like you. For real, for real, you don't like yourself. You don't think you're attractive. You're using makeup, eyelashes, eyebrows, and a filter all in one day. Too much witchcraft. We, are, we know that you don't look like that in real life. I'm sorry to tell you. Some of us feel bad for you. Some of us feel really bad. That's acknowledging the elephante in the room. We feel bad, don't we, Sean? Sure. We feel bad. We don't want you to have to wear a filter on every single post that you post. And you, you don't have to, every video that you use, you don't have to have a filter on it. You don't have to use that face app because that's not you. We wanted to follow you on Instagram. We want to follow this person you concocted, this, this magician witchcraft that you did some of y'all been watching a lot of harry potter and y'all been doing that Arivius filter make me do look way better than i actually look it's we don't want to follow this witchcraft we trying to see who y'all is like so look let me tell y'all something man i'm just acknowledging the elephante in the room it's okay i'm a, i'm a, we already said we already men and already conformed we said we okay with makeup but damn y'all throwing filters on yourself to make y'all have cheekbones and all different type of shit. Perfect eyebrow, asymmetrical, nose perfectly smooth. Damn, you gonna really pump fake ups like that? And then y'all got the nerve to be denying people like y'all bad for real? And then y'all got the nerve to be meeting people on dates 
and then looking like a whole nother person and then getting mad when the dude don't hit y'all back. Uh, we got to acknowledge the elephant in the room, man. Not no, no more in 2022. You know what I'm saying? No more in 2022, man. We gotta, we gotta acknowledge the elephant in the room. Some of us gotta stop this, Chuck, man. You know what I mean? Oh God, <laughs> fellas, listen. Stop going out to the club and trying to buy bottles and get in the section and then and telling everybody you cool with the split and then and you just gonna send them to them on Cash App and you never send them the money. Stop it, fellas. Stop it. If you ain't got the bread, don't go out. Go get you a bottle from the liquor store for what you can afford. Go sit at the house, turn your music on, your little JBL speaker. Get you a hookah from the little smoke shop. They're not expensive. And then you smoke hookah at home, you listen to music at home, and you motherfucking drink your bottle at home. Why are you going out with your homies and they getting a section for 3K and you saying you with the shits? And you know damn well you're not gonna cash out these niggas. You know he going, your homies gonna get drunk a little bit and they gonna forget to ask you. They gonna ask you in the morning. I'm like, hey man, I thought I gave that shit to you cash. Come on, fella. We gotta we gotta acknowledge the Elefante in the room, man. We gotta stop moving like this, man. We gotta stop it, bro. We better than this. As a people, we better than this. My people. My people, yo. My people. We gotta stop it, man. We sensitive. I, I'm I'm just I'm gonna just say it. My people, my my my, my black people, my uh minorities, we sensitive, man. We talk shit about everybody. Somebody say one word about us that we don't like that's racially subjective. We ready to get they fired, get everything removed, but we say all the shit in the world. We talk crazy. We sensitive. They could be saying, oh man, that's my white boy. Say it all day. And then somebody could, a white person could say, oh, that's a black guy. Oh, yeah. He, he said I was black. Uh, you are black. We got to stop this sensitive shit. The N word shouldn't have power in, in 2022. I'm sorry to say. Any racial things that somebody say about you should not have power. We want to be able to have our comedians be able to say whatever they want and not get any prosecution. But we can't take when somebody says something about us. Come on, bro. We gotta get. We gotta get it. We got. We gotta get this shit out of our head. This. This. They pulled the wool over y'all. We gotta acknowledge the elephant in the room. Y'all sensitive than a motherfucker. Y'all can't take somebody saying N word to y'all. Y'all can't say somebody says I'm racist to y'all. If they say it to y'all. That simply means that you don't need to be in that area. You don't need to be doing business with them. If I go up in, in Starbucks and they tell me, they call the cops on me because I ain't getting no coffee and I'm sitting there on my laptop like everybody else, that simply means that I am not supposed to spend my money in that Starbucks. I'm supposed to go to a Starbucks that likes me. I'm supposed to go to a Car Caribou Coffee, someone that likes me. It doesn't mean that I need to fight for my right to spend money in this place where they don't want me to be. I got to acknowledge the Elefante in the room, dog. I'm sorry to tell y'all. Why do y'all want to spend money with people who don't want y'all in their store so bad, in their restaurant so bad? Oh, every time I go up in Houston, they being racially, they racially profiling. Okay, well, don't go in Houston no more. What the fuck? Man, let me acknowledge the elephant in the room. Some of y'all need to hear this, my man. Some of y'all need to hear this. Ladies, I'm going to say something to y'all, and I'm not talking to all ladies. I'm just talking to most. I'm not. I'm talking to all ladies. I'm just talking to most ladies. Please wear y'all seatbelts. Please learn how to change y'all oil. Learn how to get y'all tires changed because I'm sorry to tell y'all, but y'all cannot drive. How we know y'all can't drive and y'all dangerous is like a roller coaster at Six Flags with the line all the way around the block because y'all got every single rim is tore up. Y'all got half of y'all fender hanging off. Why didn't you use your insurance? Because it was your fault. Ladies, I got to talk to y'all. I got to acknowledge the elephant in the room. Y'all cannot drive. We do not feel safe with y'all. So please wear y'all seatbelts. Please start getting y'all oil change. Please start getting y'all oil change. Please do not be driving on these ball tires for seven years. It is going to cause an accident, not only for you, but for other people. I'm sorry, ladies. Not all of y'all, but just most. I'm not saying 100%, but 99% of y'all just are not able to whip. Yo, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got to acknowledge the Elefante in the room. Because so nobody's acknowledging it. Right? Now, nobody's acknowledging it. I'm just sorry to tell y'all. Ladies, you cannot drive on a car for two years without getting the oil change. It's going to break down. It's going to break down, ladies. And then you, you're going to blame your new boyfriend for your car breaking down and not being able to fix when your damn engine lock up. He can't do nothing about that. He no normal maintenance. He's not a mechanic. 
Come on, man. Ladies, let's acknowledge the Elefante in the room. Huh. I'm sorry. Fellas, also another bald thing. If you're going bald, stop wearing a do-rag. Come on. Yeah. Stop wearing a do-rag when you're going bald. You, you, you can't get waves. Your hair's not going bad. Just go ahead and show off that bald. You shave that joint all the way off. Represent, man. You got to represent for the bald folks, man. If y'all y'all, y'all people who are ashamed of being bald, y'all making it like it's bad to be bald. That's why <clears throat> nobody will be worried about being bald if y'all represent it the way y'all supposed to represent it. That should feel like a, a real live, you know, empowerment thing. You got a baldy. Know what I'm saying? So, let's uh, acknowledge the Elefante in the room, man. I'm sorry to say. Hey, listen, <clears throat> fellas. This is ma this is a majority fellas problem. So I'm talking to the fellas. I'm gonna acknowledge the Elefante in the room. Fellas, please stop wiping up these chicks. Just to use their credit. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry that you cannot do that. Mm -hmm. Stop saying you found you a good one. Mm -hmm. Stop saying you found you a good one who got an 800 credit score, who gonna co-sign for everything that you gonna fuck her credit up with. <laughs> stop it, fellas. Stop using these girls' credit. Get your credit up, man. Get your credit up. Use your own credit. Stop messing up these poor girls' credit. Stop wifing up these old ladies. Stop wiping up these old ladies and becoming getting you a little sugar mama and then messing up that lady credit, man, and then laughing with your homies, man. We're not doing that in 2022, yo. We're not doing that in 2022, bro. We got to be more mature as men. We got to be able to show our kids how to move. A lot of us got kids and we doing that. That's your back? Huh? Nah. A lot, of us, a lot of us got kids and we doing that, man. We got whole sons and daughters. And we and we like, yeah, baby girl, I'm going to raise you to do right, man. You go to class and pay attention. Go to school, pay attention, man. Do the right thing. Be responsible. Dad, what's your credit score? 400. But don't worry about it. My new girlfriend, <laughs> she going to get that car co-signed for me. All The only reason I ain't got a car right now is because my credit got messed up when I was, you know, 10 years ago. So, you know, I still ain't fix it because I'm immature and I don't want to do what I got to do. But, you know, come on, dog. Stop it, man. Stop it. We grown, man. We, we gonna move with some mature fashion these days, man. Accountability this year. We gotta acknowledge the Elefante. We gotta acknowledge the Elefante. Look at this cool. This dude cool as shit. This how you know they can play basketball to come to the gym like this, man. These are niggas who have 30 who don't like stretch. He, he don't stretch when he go in the gym. He go in there and just drop 30. Cause he's so cool. I'm just saying, man. Don't shoot the messenger. Don't don't kill me because, you know what I'm saying. Don't kill me because I'm telling y'all, ladies and y'all fellas, what we, we not doing no more in 2022. I'm about to go get this hoop workout in. When I get off, I'm gonna tell y'all a couple more things that we gotta acknowledge. We gotta acknowledge a couple of these elefantes in the room that y'all don't want to speak on, but I'ma speak on it. Some of y'all not ready for success, but I am. What my boy DJ Khaled said? Audi.